Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So looking at some pretty decent weather out there right now, though, there are a few scattered showers out in the Gulf and it still feels very muggy, though the temperature is a little cooler than it was 24 hours ago. We're at 78 degrees now, but the dew point still high at 74, making it feel sticky out there. And we have a mix of clouds and clear sky. Southeast wind coming in at about three. That wind will shift west, taking showers and drawing them closer to the coastline and then pushing them inland later in the afternoon. 74, Wachula, Arcadia, 75, Mayaka City, Perry. Bradenton at 76, so is Northport, 79 in Punta Gorda, Lakewood Ranch at 77, 78 Venice, Inglewood, and 80 degrees at Longboat Key. So across the region right now, we have this line of showers that stretches across the center part of the state of Florida, back out into the open waters of the Gulf. Closer to shore, we have a little cluster of showers, and that cluster of showers is gradually drifting closer to the coastline, producing a few scattered showers in and around 75, especially 75 headed south out of Sarasota and moving downward toward Punta Gorda. But there are other showers that are soon to make it onshore, and those showers are basically going to be kind of light in nature, light to moderate, but nevertheless, they will you know, add a little bit of a slippery surface to the roadway, so just watch that. That'll be around during the drive time this morning. And then as we head into the afternoon to, to this afternoon and then tomorrow as well, I think most of the showery activity will be east of the interstate as our wind shift a little bit more to the west. We still have this frontal boundary kind of meandering across center part of Florida out into Gulf waters. But the difference today is that this high pressure ridge back out in the central Gulf has produced a little bit of drier air that has gradually drifted into the picture and will slightly reduce coverage and the amount of rain that can fall from some of these clouds. So that's good. You know, we're on a, on a road that takes us to a little bit of a sunnier sky situation for at least the second half of this weekend. East moving storms, lower weekend rain chances, and more sunshine, particularly for Sunday. Those are the weather highlights that carry you through the weekend. We have this mass of drier air and upper levels. That's indicated here by this tan colorization on our water vapor imagery. And it's gradually drifting closer to us. And that's the key point in the forecast. As far as our RPM computer model goes, I think it justly picks out the heavier storms appearing in inland areas, just as they did yesterday, but hopefully fewer of them and a little less rainfall intensity than we have seen. And then tomorrow, I think the same sort of situation, but again, we will kind of ratchet down the number of storms that we get. And Sunday looks to be the driest of the weekend days. As far as the tropics go, everything looks pretty quiet here. We do have a little spin in the atmosphere in the Caribbean, but it's an elongated system moving rapidly toward the Yucatan, where it'll basically be shredded by those mountains. Plus, the winds aloft are pretty strong. That's indicated here by this red colorization south of Cuba. Redder is better on this map, meaning the winds are not conducive for any kind of development. So I think, tropically speaking, we're in pretty good shape here. Southwest wind switches northwest this evening at about five knots, bringing you smooth conditions on Bay and Inland waters, but watch those showers out there. And then over the course of the weekend, some drier, sunnier weather. Back to you.